This video is for French 1 Unit 4, the vocab list. It has to do with school life. As always, you can watch this video more than once to get down pronunciation if you need. Um, so make sure you're following along with your uh, sheet that should already be printed out. Um, so you can make notes and things as we go along. Starting at the top. Quel cours as-tu? That is your um, informal. Or quel cours avez-vous? Either formal or plural. Quel est ton cours préféré? Again, informal. Votre cours pré quel est votre cours préféré? That is either going to be formal or plural. Mon cours préféré est, or that would be our singular. <coughs> Mes cours préférés sont, that is our plural. <coughs> And if you're going to go with your least favorite, mon or mes cours les moins or le moins préféré est or son. Qui est ton? Again, informal. Or votre, which is either formal or plural. Prof préféré. Mon is your singular, or may, plural, prof préféré, a, if it's singular, or son, if it's plural. Pourquoi? Parce que. Difficile. Dur. Facile. Intéressant is our masculine, or intéressant, our feminine. Ennuyeux, masculine. Ennuyeuse is our feminine. Amusant, which is our masculine, or amusant, which is our feminine. Beaucoup, or peu de devoir. So either beaucoup de devoir or peu de devoir. De quoi as-tu for your informal? Or de quoi avez-vous for your formal or plural? Avez uh, besoin pour Je n'ai, or j'ai besoin de, or for negative, je n'ai pas besoin de. Il y en a combien? Il y a quelle heure est-il? Il est heure. Heure, minute, second, demi, moins le quart, et le quart. À quelle heure est-ce que, and then you insert your course, commence or fini. Ça commence à, and then you give a time. Ça fini à, and then a time. 
Call this couture a, again, an informal. Or call this que vous avez, that is your formal or plural. And then you put the name of your course. Mon premier J. Then we have our cardinal numbers, which you should remember from our number worksheet, our number sheet that we did, uh, that I did at the very, we should have gone over at the very beginning of the class. Deuxième, troisième, quatrième, cinquième, sixième, septième, huitième. Ensuite, finalement, avant, après, avoir, avoir besoin, le livre, le cahier, le classeur, la dictionnaire, le stylo, le papier, le crayon, le taille-crayon, l'ordinateur, l'ordinateur portable, la calculatrice, le portable, le casier, le sac à dos, le pupitre, le bureau. Now the difference between these two, le pupitre, that would be a student desk, like the ones that we have in class. Um, and le bureau, that would be a desk, that like a teacher's desk. Um, one of those big ones with the drawers in it, and, you know, things like that. La chaise, le tableau blanc, l'horloge, la cloche, sonner, l'horaire, les maths, la science, le français. L'histoire, le PS, l'anglais, l'art, la musique, la technologie, le déjeuner, le cours, le ou la professeur. L'élève or l'étudiant. Uh, the difference between these two is that you wouldn't, I mean, you could use either one. Um, so really, I mean, there's not that much of a difference, but uh, most people are going to use l'élève instead of l'étudiant. And l'école. Now to our extension words, okay, these are words that are things that uh, might help uh, their additional knowledge to the things for the unit. They're not things that you necessarily need to know for this unit, but they are things good to know, uh, extra words, things that you can use to um, improve your proficiency uh, and uh, talk about more things, again, in this area of school life. Un feutre, la carte, un drapeau, la fenêtre, la porte, la biologie, la physique, la danse, Le Chinois, 
l'espagnol, l'italien, le japonais, l'allemand, le portugais, la russe, le suédois, le grec, le latin, être en solde, neuvième, dixième. Like always, these uh, you can watch this video as many times as you want to get this pronunciation down so that for your uh, proficiency test, you can show the mastery to the level that you want. Um, it will uh, go, go through as many times as you want. Uh, as always, you can ask me questions during class, before class or after class on pronunciation things that you want help with, uh, things that you don't understand, maybe things that you'd like to um, <clears throat> know a little bit more. You can always also make uh, comments at the end um, on the video, things that you might want um, some extra knowledge, uh, things you don't understand, things you'd like to see, uh, or like I said, you can ask me about it for class, uh, in class. So, I will see you in class.